right? All right, here we go. We'll go day one install, um, spring 2011. Go ahead, coach. All right, go ahead. All right, we'll talk formations first. Uh, obviously, to uh, our goals are to lead the country in total offense, uh, be the most explosive offense in the ACC. We expect that, we demand that, and, and, and that's what we're prepared for. Uh, as we introduce our formations for day one, uh, we'll go through our signals of them. What we're going to do in, in deuce right, as you can see, deuce right, we will set the three back always to the call. Deuce left will be the same thing. Slant right, you'll see that there is a slant with two receivers to the right. The, the, both backs are slanting to the right. Slant left, both backs are slanting to the left with our, our five and our two to the left. Stack right is just what it says. Both receivers are, or both backs are stacked to the right with two sets of, with our two receivers on the right side. Stack left is the same thing. Tray right, much like deuce right, we will set the three back to the call side. The difference here is that the five knows he is now off the line of scrimmage. We have the capability of getting into 12 personnel by making a call, making a personnel call of getting a, another tight end or fullback type H-back guy as a five at either the tray or the deuce. Uh, we can also do it as making a call to get him on the field as a two-man by just making a simple call. For example, <clears throat> deuce right, Chad Deal at five. So he would know right then he comes in on the field. As he comes on the field, he'll hold his hand up, hollering for the five to come off. Okay. So now we'll go through our, our signals for this. So Tyler will come up. Coach Carlton will go, uh, and, and we're going to say the right is, is, is that way. The left will be this way. Um, and, and you say, well, how do you know that? Well, let's just say that the ball is spotted here and we're going this direction. We will always signal to your right side. So we're all going this way. The ball's spotted. You're checking us on the sidelines here. That is your right so you will see him refer to your right by pointing to your right. If we were going this direction, obviously your right would be over here. He would be going right being pointing this way. Okay. So right now the ball spotted here and we're going this direction. So we'll go deuce right. Deuce right. That'll be the first thing signaled will be the formation. Deuce right. Okay. Here's deuce left. Deuce left. He's pointing back to your left. Back to your left. <clears throat> Make note now that if for some reason you do not pick up a signal, you do not pick up a formation, the quarterback will echo the formation. And that's the first thing he's going to be seeing as he sees us signaling. He'll be going deuce right, deuce right, deuce right, continuing to look at the sidelines looking for the signal, but he'll be hollering it out. If you still don't get it, maybe you're furthest from the ball. The thing we ask our guys to do is just simply give us a roll it. That means tell our signaler, I didn't see it. Give it to me again. And that's what we want. We don't want the kids, we don't want you to put your palms up because that signifies that we nobody knows what's going on. We want to just simply give us a simple roll it, give it, Coach, I got to have it, got to have it again, and we're going to go back through it again. All right, as we do this, let's go slant right. Slant right is a big slant across the body. It's not a short slant. We got another call for that. It is a big slant across the body, and it's the first thing signaled. Slant left. <clears throat> okay, stack right. Okay, just as it is. Stack left. All right, and tray right. Tray right. Tray right is one hand. You'll see the back of his palm. We'll go tray right or tray left. Okay, thank you. <clears throat> Let's talk motions now. All right, in our motions, every position, every position has its own specific motion call. Um, you know, the, the, from the two back to the three back to the four back. On day one, we talk where the three back is zip motion. The signal for zip motion is just like zipping a zipper on a, on a jacket. It's zip. It could, it could zip you to the right or it could zip you to the left. The zip motion is 
place specific. Okay, so it's your job to get to where you got to be according to the play that's been that's, that's following the, the, uh, the motion signal. For the four back, we refer to the four back's movement or motion as wheel. As you can see up here, the four back and wheel motion is where you need to be based on the play call, much like the three back. If Patriot is the call, Patriot is our power game, then we motion to a split back alignment. So for example, if I've got you in stack and I go wheel, brown Patriot, then we will move you to the right side or to the left side, all right? The wheel motion will also, when we put you off the ball and out of the backfield and motion you back in, it is a deep motion that will get you to the depth of the quarterback. That is what wheel motion is. The signal for wheel motion is just like driving the wheel of, of your car, turning the steering wheel. That's wheel, all right? <clears throat> the two back, okay? Or you'll hear us refer to the two man, the two back. Um, his motion call is Utah. The signal for Utah is holding up a U away from your body. All right? His rules, go ahead, coach, go to the next one. His rules are, in Utah motion, we want to work flat, we want to work fast until we get to the heels of the five man. Your splits, according to play, will dictate how far you are from the five man. Once the quarterback starts you in motion, he will start his cadence. When you hit the heels of the five man, we expect you to burst out of the top, working for a depth of about a yard and a half to two yards behind the quarterback. If you had to keep going, that's where your alignment would be. Now, you, the ball is going to be snapped before you get to that point, but you're going to know once you hit the heels of the five man, you start your climb, and then from that point forward, now your, your rules come into play. If the backs are split, this is slant right. If the backs are split, then your job is to carry out reverse fake or across the formation. So you would continue across the formation, much like it's got the dotted line right here. Carry out the reverse fake, okay? If the backs are stacked and they're to you, then your job is to carry out option fake to the stack back side. So in other words, both backs are to you, your option fake is coming back to the stack side. Okay? All right, let's go to the next one. Both backs are stacked and they're away from you. You're gonna carry out option fake to the back's side. So again, you got split backs, you carry it out all the way around. Stack, you gotta find the side that they're stacked to and you gotta carry out that fake to that side. If there is one back in the backfield, then you will always carry out the fake to the one back side. So in this case right here, the back is to the right. So you now know because he's to the right and there's one back in the backfield, you're working option fake back to the side he's on. If the four back had been on this side, then you would have carried your fake all the way across. All right? So you say as you look at this and you start getting more familiar with it, the thing you got to know is this. If you'll get comfortable and find out where the four back is, that's the side you'll always carry your fake out to. Okay. All right. Go to the next one. There it is, as I talked, the back was gonna be on this side, he carries his fake out that way. Okay. All right, as we start our, our run game for day one, day one install, uh, and, and, and as we get going on this, we'll talk about our general communication. We'll, we'll signal the, the direction, will be called off of a color board, okay? And, and I'll show you the color board. Coach, if you'll hand me the color boards back there, we'll go through that. Um, that will signify the direction. Right now, as we start to teach this, we're teaching off of brown and black. Brown being the right and black being the left. Okay? This will be a, the color board that we'll use. 
there will be a series of five color boards on the sidelines. There's only one color that'll be hot. All the other color boards are nothing. They're dummy calls. They'll be held up by, by different, by our GAs and by our backup quarterbacks. They'll be held up on the sidelines. But the one that you've got to find will be brown or black. So you'll see us talk about black and brown, and that's what this is. The next thing is we talk about our snap count. Our snap count will remind the offensive line just to reassure them of the direction again. So for example, as we go through our general communication, stack right, stack right, and we're gonna go black Atlanta, black Atlanta. All right, well, what you'll see is stack right. Come up, Tyler. You, this is what you'll see on the sidelines. You'll see stack right, and you'll see black Atlanta. The signal for Atlanta is that or that. There's two signals. We'll have two to three signals for every play. And beside him will be the color boards. And the black will be held up high, as all the other colors will be as well. And then the color cards will come down. That's Stack Right Black Atlanta. All right. Now, let's talk about a few of the techniques of it. Let's look right here on our communication. This is what the quarterback will communicate to the offensive line. He'll step forward and go Black Atlanta, Black Atlanta. He'll step back and he'll start into his cadence. Our cadence is color, color, go. Off of color, color, go, he will just reassure the offensive line what direction that we are heading. We have the capability of changing the, the color every time, every series if we need to, every, you know, at halftime, start of the third quarter. Whenever we feel like that the defense is gaining an advantage, we can simply change the direction that we call. We can use red and blue. We can use uh, uh, green and gold. Those are things that we can use and will use through the course of the year. Um, our quarterback notes on Black Atlanta. Atlanta is our inside zone. Quarterback can also use the, the complement word to it, which is Falcon. Our run game is based on NFL football teams. So he could step forward and go Black Falcon. The offensive line doesn't care what formation we're in. All they care about is what the play is. So he steps forward, he goes, Black Falcon, Black Falcon. Again, same play, Atlanta Falcons. Everything we have is built on a system of word associated with, uh, with each one of our plays. Our quarterback notes on our inside zone, very critical right here. He's got to know two, the, the main thing he has to know is, is it a read option or is it an automatic give? The only thing that you can you know is this, and what we teach our quarterbacks is, is it a three-man surface side? Okay. What do I mean by a three-man surface side? How many offensive players are on the line or close to the line to the right of the center? Okay, to the side that the back is on. So in this case, we're going black, which means we're going left. It's going to put the four back on the right side. He now has to recognize, is it a three-man surface side? And the answer is yes. Yes. Okay? And with that being said, then, you know, he's going to know that now it's an automatic give. Obviously, our drawing is wrong here. We're going to be working our zone back this way. Um, we'll be digging him out. So there'll be zone this way. We've actually got it drawn up as Brown Atlanta. But the offensive line will work back to the left. We'll be digging him out. The, the, the three back will make an I'm here call. And basically all he's doing at that point is, is just helping out and telling that tackle that, hey, look, I am behind you. I'm going to help dig him out. You do not have to worry about that defensive end. That is my job. Now, he can also be attached as a tight end in tray formation, and we can still run the same play and it will be a three-man surface side, which is an automatic give. Okay. You can see up here our notes. All Atlanta start at six yards. Our quarterback will start at six. We're going to hide the depth of our quarterback, or our, our, our fullback. Uh, we want our fullback's depth at about seven yards, um, and, and we want our quarterback at six. What he'll do is he'll step forward. He's already made the call. Black Atlanta, Black Atlanta. He comes back to six yards. And right before he starts his cadence, he'll step forward and go black, black, go. He's hiding the depth of that back. Again, we'll talk, we're really big on our zone action with our four back, and I'll get to it on the, the path that we're going to take. 
our quarterback before the snap of any of our football of, of any play that we have will just peek the sidelines. He's listening for for me to make a call. If he hears me make a a run it run it run it call, don't even mess with checking us on the sidelines. Snap the football and go. We want to run a play. It's tempo. If he doesn't hear me holler and run it run it run it, he will just simply just check me on the sidelines. If that's our sidelines. Right before he starts, he's stepped up. Right before he starts, he's just going to check real quick before he goes black, black, go. We do that for, for a couple of different reasons. Number one is if we feel like we have gotten their signal and we need to change the play, we see that they've, they've tipped a field blitz off, then we'll just simply tell the quarterback, check, 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 and he'll pull up and he'll go check, 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 and we'll change the play at that point. Uh, we don't do a lot of that, but it's later in a game, maybe early in a second half or second quarter, we feel like we've kind of got a, a tendency on them. Um, and then we're able capability of changing the play without going through a dummy call and, uh, and, and really slowing the pace of the, the, uh, the game down. So he will look to the sidelines for a bubble signal, and that, that goes into our, our call as he peeks us. If he sees us give a bubble signal, which is rubbing our hands together or folding our arms, that's telling us that the, the apex player, the Sam linebacker, is playing inside. He's really trying to cheat in and play with an extra hat in the box. We want to take advantage of that. We just want to throw the bubble out here. That would be our answer for it. Uh, we hope, and we're going to get to a point to where our quarterbacks don't have to mess with looking at the sideline on this, that he's automatically going to know that if the apex player is playing inside and we've got leverage, that we have the capability of throwing the bubble. That is one thing that we want to make sure that we, uh, we're going to get to, but right now we're not at that point. That's, that's one of the things that I could signal in as he peeks us on the sideline. Okay? If he receives a bubble signal, okay, if he receives it, all he's going to do is tell the four back, bubble, 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 which is going to tell him, continue on your zone path, but get out of the way and I'm going to throw the bubble, I'm going to turn toe and throw the football. Footwork, told you it's an automatic give. It's an automatic give because it's a three-man surface side. As he, as he automatic gives it, he's going to carry his fake out, faking a bubble throw to the two back and carrying up the field. You can see that. Um, tips on all stack and slant, the Atlanta, the two and the five are going to switch alignments. And basically, they're going to ask themselves, is there a bubble in the picture? Is, is there a bubble built into this of, of the play? Atlanta, there is. So they're going to invert. We've got several other things we can do for them to invert to keep it from us developing a tendency. Two-man. Two-man splits the rules. He's, he's minus one off the hash. Okay? Uh, or plus five to the tackle, into the boundary. Uh, the lineup... Uh, Line up with the front foot at three yards deep. Bubble off the front foot, pushing lateral, expecting the bubble. We call it a J-step. Uh, Coach Scott will talk about that a little bit more. We get the ball out to you on the edge, ride the wave. Don't worry about cutting back. Ride the wave. Work your five-man. The five-man is going to give you a two-way go. The uh, uh, one thing we do have, and, and, and we've got it in here as we go, you get a one cut is all you get. One cut policy. You get the ball on the edge. You got one cut. We want to gain four yards every time we throw the bubble. It's not about hitting a home run and banging our head off the goal post. If we can throw the bubble and get four yards, it's a successful play for us. Anything after that is gravy. Five man. Five man's probably got one of the most important jobs out here because he's blocking for the bubble every play. He's anticipating a bubble throw every play. He's got to be big. He's got to be physical. He's got to be mean. And uh, he's going to get plenty of catches, but he's also going to be the guy that's going to get plenty of credit because we got guys picking up big plays right here. Uh, split rules, he's plus five off the hash. Um, the max line into the boundary, always expecting the bubble to be thrown. Drive off the ball to a halo, and then and we'll work our halo and our blocking concept off of that. But uh, And we're working the outside numbers of the corner. Expect, expect the bubble, be patient. Fit and then refit. You may have to reposition yourself. But well, get into your halo of two to three yards and work off of him. Let him come into you and, 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 and we'll reposition ourselves 
It's a constant fist fight out here on the edge to get the, the two man a little bit of a two way go. Keep your shoulders square to the line of scrimmage and understand the ball's coming behind you. The nine man, his split rules are the numbers box, top of the numbers, and his job, he's got most dangerous man. So if the most dangerous man was down inside, then obviously he's looking to, uh, to push crack. One thing that we also want to talk about and we're going to get into is pre-snap. Pre-snap call our lookies or our can eyes. And basically what a lookie is, is how far is the corner playing off of you? A lot of times you'll see teams that want to spin it and, and play a one high look, uh, especially to the stack side. They're going to try to cheat an extra hat down. And because of them doing that, they're going to back a corner off because they know they're in, they're in man coverage over here and they got him on an island and rotate the safety. And when that happens, you're going to have some cushion here. We tell our quarterbacks and our nine man, nobody else needs to know it but you two guys. If he's playing off of us five yards or more, then we'll make a simple call. We'll either scratch our elbow, we'll tap our leg, but it'll just be something to signify to the nine man that we're just going to raise up and throw you the ball. He's going to take three steps forward on a hitch. We're going to throw the ball to you and we're going to pick up five yards and everybody's going to be happy with it. The thing I tell them is this. Once the quarterback signals to the nine man, the nine man has got to do something back to him to know that he got the signal. If the quarterback scratches his elbow, the nine man could sit here and just wave his hand. He could adjust his face mask. He's got to do something back to the quarterback. If he doesn't, then we'll get into a situation a quarterback raise up and throw out here and the nine man's not expecting it and we've given up a bad play. So we've got to make sure that they're on the same, same page communication-wise. Um, if there's a time to where that the nine man feels like he's got a looky call and he's trying to signal something to the quarterback and the quarterback doesn't signal something back to him, the looky is off. You go and, and you work your most dangerous man. That is our Atlanta versus a three-man surface side. Okay, let's go to the next one. The three and four backs responsibilities. Three back, a line at three yards deep in the backfield. Uh, and what you're on is, is work to, in the B gap, approximately a yard and a half, or yard, yard and a half behind the offensive line. Position yourself, position yourself to where the best angle for you to, to dig the defensive end out is. Okay? Obviously, if we put you inside or way out here, we could get the defensive end coming underneath us. Position yourself. There's really no exact place. You got to be right here. You got to be athletic enough to know your, your talents and your, your responsibilities. My job is I can't let the defensive end cross my face. So I've got to put myself in a position to be able to dig him out. You're going to make an I'm here call for the tackle. We talked about that a little bit earlier, what that means and why we make that call. You're stepping straight down the hill to cut off the defensive end or C gap. So ball's going, we know the ball's going to our left. We know I've got to dig out this defensive end. So what we would do, we would step with his left foot in and that would assure us that we've got a great angle to dig that defensive end out. So both feet are here. He would step here and then his natural movement would take him in, um, into that defensive end. Head up the field, we want our head north and south to keep that defensive end from crossing our face. Four back. Four back knows it's an automatic give. Why? Because it's the three man surface side. Talked about his heels being at seven yards, inside foot on the crack of the guard. Must have proper mesh and a light squeeze in the pocket. We'll work this over and over in our CQ exchange before the start of practice every day. But uh, it's a light squeeze. Even though you know you're getting the football, uh, the quarterback's going to give it. What we want out of this is we want a roll step. We want a roll step into the quarterback as we take our path down the hill. We are aiming at the inside hip, inside hip of that center, keeping our shoulders square. We all know that if, if, if we aim wide, then it's gonna bounce wide. Be athletic enough to know that we're gonna aim at that center's hip, be able to cut it back or cut it forward. You're reading the first man past the center, first down lineman past the center, okay, and how this works. Roll step at 45, exchange with the quarterback. We'll do that daily. Get the shoulders square. 
chase the near hip of the center, which is what we talked about, bang or bend off the first down lineman. And uh, you'll see some, some cut-ups of it. Go ahead. For our offensive line, obviously blocking the different fronts, the under front, the over front, and the, the odd or the oaky look. Again, we're not blocking this in because we got him accounted for, either digging him out in a three-man surface side or reading him in a two-man surface side. Okay, go ahead. Okay, we'll show a few clips. So notice the quarterback. Notice the, the fake off the quarterback right now. He gives the ball, and they're going to carry out the fake. Now, we go back to what we talked about earlier. If you'll pause it right there, Coach. Go back to what we talked about earlier. Where is the apex player quarterback? The apex player is playing inside. So right now, we should be looking to throw the bubble. We want to get to that point to where we can throw the football off of that. Make a, um, a bubble, bubble, bubble call to him, and we're throwing the football here. Because he didn't, it's a three-man surface side. It's an automatic give. Roll step down. We'd like a little bit better of a roll step out of that, aiming that near hip of the center. Okay, go ahead, coach. Okay, go back. Let's look at the nine man now. Nine man's responsibility. If I'm the nine man, I'm thinking that we just gave five yards away. These are the hidden yards that, that are never talked about on Sundays. Okay, we just gave away five yards. That's a hidden yardage play we just gave up because that is a looky call all the way. You can notice how far the corner's playing off. We want to take advantage of that. Can I throw it? Is, and that is a looky. That's why we call it lookies and can eyes. It's a simple scratch of the elbow, adjustment of the face mask, throw the football, our athlete against theirs, let's go get five yards and we'll go to the next down. My right, coach, let's go to the end zone of it. Now you can notice, here's your path. First down lineman past the center. He's gone. Look where it should be happening. Obviously, our right, our right tackle is wrong. Pretty good job right here by our nine, our, our number nine right here, our three back. I'd like for him to step more inside, though, and cut that hat off. Okay? Cut the hat off. The hat cannot cross your face. You got to work flatter and, and, and up the field a little bit better than that. He came across our face. All right, go ahead. Go to the next one. All right, same thing. Look where your apex player is. We have the capability of throwing the bubble out here. Can we throw the looky? There's a possibility. The only thing that scares me about that is that guy. So I got to be a little bit wary of that. May not throw it. Uh, probably wouldn't throw it because he's standing up. But you do have that capability right here. But really, the play you want to make sure you do and we want to get into, we will. I will, as a play caller, get you in a situation to throw the bubble off this. I'll take pressure off of you early. So we expect our two men to be able to come to the sidelines and tell Coach Scott, Coach, they're giving us the bubble. And that's what we've got to hear from you guys. All right, three-man surface side, automatic give. Go ahead. Okay, go to the end zone. Again, I, I, want, I want to look at the path of the back and where it should be. The ball should be coming right up the hash. Bounce, they slid their front on us. Go ahead, go to the next one. Okay, again, look at the bubble. Go ahead. Five man does a really good job right there, picking up the most dangerous man. The way they, they roll that down. We're not going to pass up one to go get one. Okay, go to the next one. All right, two-man surface side. The two-man surface side is an automatic read. Tells us we're reading the defensive end. Once we read the defensive end for the give or pull, we then rotate our eyes to the, to, to the guy in no man's land, the Sam linebacker, for the, for the bubble throw. All right, go ahead, coach. That is a pull read. Once we take a pull read, we take it and pull the ball. We now attack and replace where he came from down the field or downhill. We take two to three steps and get our eyes on the Sam linebacker for the bubble. Is he covering the bubble? 
If he is, then I'm running the football. If he isn't, and he's sitting in no man's land, then I'm going to flip the ball out on the edge to my back or to my receiver and, and, and uh, uh, get the ball out on the edge. This talks about, about spreading the ball from sideline to sideline. Again, two-man surface side. There's my read. Look at the step here. Quarterback, put the ball on your back hip. The longer the ride, the more time to decide. Again, we'd like for that path because it's being cut off by that, by that defensive lineman. We'd like for that ball to hit up the hash. Go ahead. Okay. Again, two-man service side should be an automatic give. Or um, should, be a, should be a read. That's who I'm seeing if I'm throwing the bubble off of. Quarterback does a pretty decent job, he and the two-back, of carrying out the fake or the five-man carrying out the fake off the bubble. Probably could have went either way. Probably might have looked at it, pulled that, uh, and taken it to the outside. But again, he chose to give it. If you'll pause it right there, Coach. One thing I want to talk to our quarterbacks and our fourbacks about right now, if you ever get a man-on-man -man outside technique. So in other words, if for some reason we had a, an outside linebacker that walked up on the line, we refer to that as a man on, a man outside. Obviously, they're going to do some type of slide in their front and bring him off the edge. We tell our quarterback in a read situation with a man on, man outside, if we cannot throw the bubble because they've rolled down on top of us and are playing tight man to man, then it's an automatic give. Give the football in a man on, man outside technique. Okay, go ahead, coach. Again, there's where the ball should be hitting. Find the center, the ball should be hitting. Okay, go again, next one. All right. Slant right, Utah. We're adding a little bit more into it now. We're adding a Utah motion. Brown, Atlanta back. Okay, all Atlanta rules for the offensive line are going to apply. The Atlanta... Talks to, to, obviously, our four-back. His path is still going to be the same. The back, the back is, is talks now to the three-back. And, and this is where it comes into play. Um, simple, our, obviously, our Atlanta is this or this. The, the, the back call would be nothing more than going Atlanta back or Atlanta back. Now, what we would like to get into is getting away from giving you the Atlanta signal of this or this and just go straight back. So in this case here, it would be slant, right, Utah, and we would go black, Atlanta back. Black, Atlanta back, okay? All right. Everything stays the same. Quarterback knows. Again, it ends up into a three-man surface side. The back is an automatic give for the quarterback. All right, all other things, all other rules stay the same. Two man, apply your Utah motion rules. Backs are split. I'm carrying out reverse fake all the way around. I'm carrying my reverse fake out because the backs are split. All right. Um, five man rules, again, everything stays the same. Uh, nine man rules, again, blocking most dangerous man, push, crack, and a safety. Go to the next one. The communication of the offensive line is Brown, Atlanta, back. Brown, Atlanta, back. He'll come back. Brown, Brown, go. What we want of our three back, this is the guy. This is the guy that's going to make it all happen. His alignment's three yards deep in, in, in the B gap, approximately a yard, one yard behind the offensive line in a slant position. His, his angle or his lead step is aiming at the hip of the far side guard to dig out the defensive end. So, again, we want to make sure as this offensive line has a surge and a push, we want to hug their tails as they climb, we climb. And the thing we've got to make sure that we do is we cannot, by hat, a play, hat placement, we cannot allow the defensive end to cross our face. We've got to be able to put our hat up the field to dig the defensive end out. You've got the most important block out of all of them. Obviously, our offensive line working their zone track, You've got to hug the near hip of the guard, offside guard, and continue to climb up. We'll make a lock call a little bit later, which will tell you to stay on your same path. 
and we'll turn this one out and move you up on the wheel linebacker. Again, hugging the hips of those offensive linemen as you climb, working to dig the defensive end out. Very physical ball player. Um, a guy that's got to be uh, ha have a little dirt in his neck and, uh, and, and a little gritty at times. So uh, got to make sure this defensive end doesn't cross our face. All others stay the same with the four back and um, then what we just talked about. Let's go. All right, this is slant left, black Atlanta back. You know, we'd like for him to hug a little bit closer. Uh, he does a good job once he gets on him, but again, we don't want him any penetration crossing his face. We'd like for that hat to go straight up the field. All right, coach, let's go to the end zone of it. He cannot let him cross his face. He's got to work tight. As soon as daylight happens right there, he's got to bite daylight and get that head up the field and keep him from crossing over. All right, go to the next one. This is slant left, black Atlanta back. Okay, you can kind of see the action right here that's happening. They got a corner cat coming, so really he should be working straight to the first threat, whether it be that linebacker or that corner cat coming. He does a really good job. I'd like for him to little, be a little bit tighter, but he does a good job recognizing that they cross face, and now I got to climb to the next level. Okay? Again, zone steps, all zone actions are staying the same. We want to hit this thing in tight and work the bend or the bang around it. Okay, go to the next one. All right, this is, this is what it would look like with Utah motion. Now, we were, this is another play uh, off of it. It's called our back dash scheme, but this is the way it would look and we'll get into the point where we'll fake option off of it. But this is what it would look like, but it would be Atlanta back right here. This is slant right Utah, brown Atlanta back. If you'll stop it right there, coach. Obviously, he would be digging out the defensive end. We would give the football. We carry out our reverse fake. Uh, we'll get to a point down the road we feel more comfortable with the system of carrying out. I say, look, on Atlanta backs off a of Utah motion, we'll carry option fake out. But right now, it'll be a reverse fake till we get to the basic concept of the offense down. All right, go to the next play, coach. <clears throat> okay, same thing right here, slant right, Utah. Okay, going brown Atlanta back. Obviously, we're working him to cut the defensive end. Again, this is a dash concept. That's why he's trying to avoid him, but that's who he would be cutting right there. We'd be faking reverse. All right, go to the next play, coach. All right. Here we go. Go to our next run game. Um, the, uh, the only other run play that we're going to put in um, for day one install is our Patriot. Signal for Patriot to get Tyler back up here. Uh, one of our big plays, uh, um, third and a yard, um, short yardage, fourth and a yard. These are the two plays that we're going to be running. Atlanta, Atlanta back, and our Patriot. These are what our base plays are going to be on, and, and this is what we're going to run in crunch situation. Uh, it's day one install. But it'll be the same play we're going to be running in a national championship game on third and one. Um, and so we want to get that mentality set. So Patriot, Patriot is that. It's that or it's that. Being patriotic, hand over the heart. So those are the three signals that we will have for Patriot. All right. To give you a call right here, let's go stack right. Brown Patriot. Brown would be on the board. Okay. Brown will be on the board. Okay. We'll go stack right. Go Brown Patriot with another signal. Or it'll be stack right, Brown Patriot. Okay. Good. <clears throat> Quarterback heels at five. You're going to open with a play side foot, square the shoulders to 90 degrees. Secure the handoff with a ride. And what we would like is for you to boot away boot away from the play to hold the backside end or anything maybe get pull a wheel linebacker um, we've done several different things with our quarterbacks we've given the ball and showed high hands off a of play action fake uh, which you're going to see in video 
But we've also given the ball and booted away. And that's what we're going to do right now to set up the, the naked off of our power game. Um, but it is a give all the way. It, again, is a very physical football play. Uh, we'll talk three and four back responsibility in just a second. Two man, split rules. You're plus five off the hash. You drive off the ball to the halo. Again, working your outside number of the cornerback and, and working to stay on him. Understand that you're probably going to have the touchdown block. You and the nine man will have the touchdown block. Okay, you'll be the one. He'll be working downfield, working push crack and a safety. Most dangerous man. But your job it has to understand that the power will eventually be bounced out to me, and I got to be able to secure myself and reposition myself to give, get, get the extra five yards or 55 yards, whatever it takes. Five man, split rules. He's minus one off the hash, inside footwork. He's working to dig out the Sam linebacker. He's got to work to dig it out. Now, on the snap of the ball, if the Sam vacates and he starts diving inside, then we'll work to climb. Don't ever chase inside. Dig him out. If his pre-snap alignment puts the Sam linebacker in the box, then again, right before the snap of the football, as we peek, if we give a bubble call, then we'll make sure that we're going to bubble, bubble here, here, and he has to know that I'm blocking for the bubble in that case. Again, that's down the road. It's not going to be day one, but that's the thought process that we want to go, is if they're going to cheat an extra hat in a box, we got to have an answer for it. Nine man, we've talked about his. He's got the numbers box, and uh, he's sprint to cut off the, the, the backside, push crack of safety. Go ahead. Three back. Three back heels at two yards inside foot again. We say two yards, a uh, yard and a half. I don't think you're going to get any deeper than two, two and a half yards by no means because then you're going to start allowing too much gap and the angle of contact isn't going to be there. Want to push for the three back to work inside foot first, much like the Atlanta with a three-man surface side to where you have to dig it out. Push inside foot first and dig that defensive end out. Again, head up the field. It is a power block. Uh, it's a physical block. doesn't have to be just a, a bone charring block where i got to knock him off the ball, but I at least have to make contact and get my butt in the hole. Uh, again, very physical right here. If, if we get a Momo call, a man on, man outside, they start cheating the Sam up, and they start cheating the defensive end in, what's called a Momo call, then it is the three backs job to ID a Momo. Once you make a Momo call, Momo basically tells you, the Momo basically tells you that they're doing some type of slant in their front. It's going to put you on the Momo. He's going to put you on the man on, man outside technique because we know once I make a Momo call, you have to alert the tackle because the defensive end is going to be coming inside and it's going to put the tackle on the defensive end. It's going to put me on the overhang that's coming and we're looking to crease it. All right. Momo also will pull, it'll also pull the guard and, and, and know that he's still rapping, but he knows now that we've turned a hat loose, which is the backside wheel linebacker. And we'll get to that a little bit later. But again, four backs in stack alignment, the heels at seven yards. Again, every back is a little bit different. Uh, some may, may hit the power a little faster uh, or a little slower, and we have to adjust your alignment. But for the base, our general rules are going to be at seven yards. Um, Six-inch lateral step, just a slight little roll step, clear your cleats, pick them up, put them down, and we're getting straight ahead. We tell them to hit it, A-gap, A-gap. Run through the smoke. There's going to be a lot of stuff happening right here. Run through the smoke. Okay. Go ahead. And this is just for the offensive line, the power rules for the under front, the over front, and the odd front. Okay, go ahead. Stack right. Stack right, Brown Patriot. He comes late. You cannot make a Momo call, or once you do make it, you got to stay with it. He came late. There was no Momo made. It's no big deal. You're still working your track. Now, had he aligned on the line of scrimmage to start with, 
And then it would have been an automatic Momo cough. You'll go pause it right there, coach, right there. If he would have had aligned here, then he would have made a Momo call, which would have pushed everything, and he would have been out on him. Again, all they're doing is bringing a sound pop, and that's all they're doing, and, and that's not going to affect us. We want an answer to field pressure to us is to run the power into field pressure with a Momo call. Okay, go ahead. You can see the end zone of it. He comes late. Live with it. It's no big deal. Live with it. <clears throat> go back, coach. Usually when you get a Momo, you three backs, usually you'll go, go back, coach, right there, pause it. Usually if, they're, if, they're, if it is a true Momo, then he's going to be in a tighter alignment. He's probably going to be in a shade, and he's going to be on the line. That's what's going to happen. But here he's in a wide five. All they're doing is just bringing a pop off the edge. Go ahead, coach, or a lightning. You can see A-gap play does a really good job. Again, two back, two man, you need to know. As a two man, I'm expecting, man, that power's fixing to be bounced to me at some point. So five man's going to dig out anything. He just saw, go back coach, he just saw the Sam linebacker cheat inside. I can't chase him, so I climb. So he climbs to the safety. I now know my two man out here. The ball's going to be bounced to me. I got to be ready for the touchdown block. Okay, coach, go to the next one. Back right, Brown Patriot does a really good job right here. Watch this. It's our three back, does a good job stepping into the line of scrimmage. We really like a hat placement inside, but that's getting picky. But again, he's doing a really good job keeping his shoulder square to the line of scrimmage and trying to create contact and getting a body on him. Nice job by our tailback. Go to the end zone of it, coach. Yeah, look at the tempo that we're going at. These guys are having a hard time getting lined up. Run through the smoke. Run through the smoke. Okay, go to the next one. All right. Same play, same rules. Now all we do is bring the Utah motion in. Stack right, Utah, Brown Patriot. The only thing we do here now is he knows that the backs are they're stacked, and on his side, then we're carrying out option fake to the stack back side. Okay, all other Patriot rules apply. Here you go, Brown Boston, Brown Boston, okay, or Brown New England, Brown New England, anything that signifies about the Patriot, New England Patriots, uh, Boston is up there, go ahead, Brown, Brown, go. Stack right, Utah, hits the heels of the five, starts his climb, it's a give, that's fine, we know that, and now we're going to carry option fake out. Teams that, that, that move into a stack alignment defensively off of Utah motion, much like they're doing here, then we'll come back in with a power option or a power O. Uh, if that is their answer to, to, to motion and move into stack, we'll come back and pull the ball and work for the pitch on the edge. But that's, uh, again, down the road. Stack right, Utah, Brown Patriot. Good. Go back. One thing I want you to notice Go all the way back. Go all the way. Keep going, coach. One thing I want you to notice, look at the pace that we're going at. Go ahead, coach. Again, we, we want to get up there, get a line, and let's get moving. Carry out your option fake, quarterbacks. A five-man does a good job right there trying to dig it out. Okay, go ahead. All right, go ahead. Next play. There you go. Stack right Utah, then motion back into stack, then we'll come back to our answer. But this is just Brown Patriot. Again, down, down, down the hill. This is a lock call. You'll hear us talk a little bit about lock in day two. Anytime we get a, a shade, a five, we'll make a lock call, which will basically put the, the three back on a linebacker now. And we're still wrapping. But uh, we'll get into that day two. But this is a lock call. But you can you can at least see the way that we do our motion and work the option fake off of it. Go ahead, coach. Carry your fake out. We'd like for him to carry it out a little bit further than that. Okay, go to the next one.
All right, we'll move into our passing game now. We've talked about our run game, which is Atlanta, Atlanta back, and Patriot. Um, our play action game now we'll talk about is Kansas. Signal for Kansas is like opening up a can and dribbling a basketball for Kansas. Here or here. Okay. All right. Stack right zip black Kansas. The thing about Kansas is, is you have to be in a two by two alignment of some sort. All right. Whether you're in a uh, stack zip. Okay, where we've got, we are in a two-by-two two alignment of some type. Um, quarterback notes, we like Kansas versus a one-high look. We can still run Kansas versus a two-high look, but it just flattens our route off a little bit, a, a little bit flatter from our nine men. All right. Quarterback is going to read flat defender first. Flat defender first. Um, we want to take the ball, or we can take, throw the ball to the fat chick in the flats, the three back in the flats. If we can get the ball to him on, on, a, on a one route, um, where he is working for leverage, we'll talk about his responsibilities in just a few minutes, then, then, then we'll get the ball to him. Uh, we'll read the wheel linebacker. If the wheel expands with the one route, if the wheel expands with the one route, then we've got the nine man coming right behind him, throwing in that short window. It's a three-step gather throw. It will be a quick gather. Uh, if we're going to throw, if we're going to throw the, the the bang eight, what we refer to the bang eight route. If we're going to throw the bang eight, we're going to stick our foot in the ground and pull the trigger. So it'll be a rhythm throw. If the ball goes to the flats, then obviously it'll be a short gather throw. We'll get all that working. Um, your eyes down the middle of the field, reading a play side safety, or in our case, our safety right here. Uh, you can see we go through our cover two. Again, we're going to work everything in a two high look. Everything will be worked a little bit flatter. One high look, then you're going to step on your toes, step on the toes at 10 and make your break. You can see the nine man. The way we'll call this is black Kansas. That's telling us the, 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 the primary side we're looking to throw the football to. It will be the left side. It'll be, it'll be the boundary. We would like to get to a point where we don't have to call a color. We can just go stack right, zip, Kansas. But for right now, we'll tell the quarterback what side we want him to look for for his primary side first. It will be the boundary. This will be a boundary throw. All right, we talked about our nine man. He's the, he's the most important here. He's the bottom of the numbers. He's running a bang eight route, breaking the, breaking the route off at 10 yards. Flatter the angle if the corner or safety's on top of you. So if he's, if he, if he's, if he's getting depth as I push, then I'm going to flatten it off. Again, the quarterback is reading the wheel linebacker for that short window. It'll be a quick throw as you come out of your break. Two man and five man, extremely important because we have the capability, if they're going to stay in a too high look, to give a home run tag. A home run tag is nothing more than just like clearing the bases as, as, as an umpire would do in baseball. And, and what we want out of this would tell our quarterback, if we gave you a home run tag, we're now going to throw our eyes back to the field. And if we can get the five man to work the inside shoulder of, the, of the, 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 the safety and occupy him, then we've got a one on one shot, a home run post on the backside. Uh, staying skinny, the two man would be staying skinny on it. Quarterbacks, we, if we choose to throw the home run side, then we want to put the ball 42 yards on the hash. Again, you can look at this. Uh, the two man's rules is he's plus five off the hash. He's running his home run post. He's stepping on the corner's toes. Lean on him like you would a nine route or a go route. Um, stick it skinny through his numbers and stay vertical. Don't let him undercut us. Okay, stay skinny. Working through his shoulders. Should look like an inside release off a nine route. Uh, trust your quarterback to throw you to grass. He'll put you where it needs to be. The ball will be thrown 42 yards on the numbers. You don't have to get there. We're going to get the ball on the numbers for you versus cover two, stay skinny away from the play side safety. So it may turn more into a nine route versus a true cover two. Okay. It'll be a slight, maybe not quite as big as a bender route as that, but it will be staying skinny with it versus a press, convert it to a nine route. If you got press look like anything we've got, any type of press coverage, convert it. Five man split rules, minus one off the hash. He's uh, off the ball. We can invert these guys. He can be off, he can be on. Uh, depends upon the formation call. 
versus a one safety look, break on a post in front of the deep safety. Okay, so if they've spun this thing and put it here, then you want to break on your post in front of the deep safety. Uh, break at 12 yards, aiming for 20 versus a two safety look. Again, we talked about that, attacking the inside shoulder of that safety, trying to occupy him on the post. Keep the safety off the two man. If he jumps the two man, obviously you're the guy that's open. So that would be if we tag home run, that's the quarterback's read right there. Okay, go. Go back, coach. Let's talk real quick. Go back to the slide. All right, this would be a 70P protection. And we'll get into protection calls a little bit later. 70P tells our four back that we're working to the odd side, odd being left, even being right. We are P, which is a play fake. You don't have to play fake four back. The play fake will come from the quarterback. He will flash fake you. You've got to know that 70P is going to, spin, is going to slide the offensive line away from the call and put your responsibility on the wheel linebacker. Okay? Your job is to work wheel linebacker to check down. And you'll work your check down, and we have the capability of moving you from side to side with, with, with certain calls, and we'll get into that a little bit later. 70P tells us it is a play fake. Does not mean that you have to come across the quarterback's face. I can line up and slant right, which would put you here, and go zip and go black Kansas and still make a 70P call. And all you're doing is working straight to your same linebacker straight down the hill. Does not mean I have to come across his face, but that is where the check down occurs off the wheel linebacker. And you got your, and you'll dual read your backers. Okay, go coach. All right, stack right. Zip. Black Kansas. Again, read your flat route. Three back. Three back, we want to gain leverage. It is not about trying to push vertical. It's not what we're after. We do not want to push vertical. We want to beat the outside linebacker with leverage. Attack his outside shoulder, beat him with speed for five, and then work into your, into your one route. Beat him with speed. Quarterback is reading the wheel linebacker for the window. You can see the nine man does a really good job right here, recognizes the corners are staying high, the safety's high, I'm working a flatter concept. It's not a true post, he's flattening his route out. Running back knows my responsibility is the linebacker. Linebacker vacates, I could have hit my check down. Quarterbacks, you'll hear us talk about hit the check down, hit the check down, the check down's always open. Okay, what we wanna do in a check down route, go back coach or just go, this is good right here. What we want to do in a check down route, if you'll pause it, coach, go ahead, keep going, go ahead. I'll tell you when to pause it. Now, pause it now. If the linebacker was playing on you on the outside, then the quarterback's job is to throw the ball opposite of the linebacker off the check down. Okay? All right, go ahead, coach. Up top, again, this is something that we've changed since this. We're running the double post concept. Okay? Go ahead, coach. Go to the next play. Go back one more time, coach. Right there, keep going. Okay. I want you to watch. Watch the effort of the two man. Again, what can I do to get down the field to throw the block that's going to create a touchdown play? We're going to reward guys. Everybody, every one of you guys can catch a football. I know that. Coach Scott knows that. Or you wouldn't be here. But what is going to put you on the field quicker than anything is your capability of giving extra effort in blocking. Now, if you want to know how to get on the field, you're going to get on the field by blocking because I know you can catch. Okay, here we go. This is trips left, zip. Again, you have to get into some type of two-by-two -two alignment. Brown, Kansas, it is a 60P protection. There's your bang eight coming. Ball comes out quick. Go to the end zone. Good, nice shot. Okay, go, next one. All right, we'll pause right there, Henry, if we could. <clears throat> All right, we'll pick up and we'll talk about uh, our vertical game. Uh, we just finished with Kansas. Uh, play action to the boundary. Uh, we'll pick back up with vertical game. Our vertical game is 
consists of Florida. Um, signal for Florida is any type of cutting action on your arm, on your leg, or running a seam like the seam of your pants. It is a four vertical system um, designed for, in this case, Deuce Left Black Florida. Again, we will call the color side that we want the beater to come from. So when we call black here, we want the beater to come from the boundary. All right, if this is the boundary to the left, the beater will come from the left side. It'll always be the inside receiver. In this case, it's the three back. We tell our three back that we want to get our toes to 10 or clear the backer before you make your beater versus a too high look. All right, quarterback's action on this. Obviously, we're thinking too high look. We're going to read the weak side safety. In this case right here, if it had been a one high look where they had spun and rolled the safeties and it turns into a one high look, then the three back will continue up the seam on his landmarks. And we'll talk about landmarks in just a second. Quarterback's read is a three-step gather. He's thinking too high look right now. There's the boundary. We know that the beater's going to come from the boundary. My action, action on this is going to be I'm going to read the weak side safety and try to keep him on the hash. If I think it's cover two where the corner is down, obviously if I can keep that guy on the hash, I got a chance for a whole ball shot. Not the, the two man or nine man, we get into a situation, different formation, but the two man in this case versus press coverage will convert. He'll convert his route. Okay? Best release, we would prefer it to be an outside release but we want best release out of it. If you can't get outside, you got to get your best release and let's get back to your landmark. Versus press, convert it. Quarterback's going to read the weak side safety and cover two. If we keep him on the hash, expect the whole ball shot, two man. If, this, if the safety spins off the hash, if he comes off the hash and still in a too high look, then we're thinking beater to check down. Quarterback's communication to the offensive line is 70p, 70p. They don't care, it's Florida. They just need to know the protection. So in this case, it will be 70p, 70p. We talked earlier about what a P protection fake is. It's a play action protection for our fullback. He's gonna come across our quarterback's face unless I align him differently. I could set him here and he would come straight down. Quarterback's job is to flash fake. So it would work. It'd step forward, 70p, 70p, come back, black, black, go. He'll flash fake and then get into his drop, reading the weak side safety. Okay? You can go through here versus a one safety look. I'm thinking, like I said, he's going to continue straight up the seam in a one high look. It's my job now in a one high look to figure out if I'm throwing to the five man or to the three man. All of it's going to be predicated on where that safety is. If safety spins all the way over, usually what I like to tell our quarterbacks is throw where he came from. Throw where he came from. Okay. Uh, versus a cover two look, talked about our two man to three man to check down. So everything will work right here in a cover two look. Cover four, we're going two man. Now, versus cover four with an off corner, we're taking and pushing to 14 yards and running a comeback. Okay, so if there is an off corner on anything we do, whether it's a, a one high look, a cover three look, a, a cover four look, he's still running his 14-yard comeback. The only time he wouldn't, and that's just not just the two man, but the nine man, if he was a singled up guy, would be if, it's, if it is an off corner, but if he's pressed up, he converts it, like we talked about. Okay, um, here we go, two man, talked about his rules, five man, Again, continuing up his, his, his landmarks. We're staying two to four outside the hash is your landmark from an inside receiver standpoint. Nine man's rule in this case is he's got the hash plus six and he's running a nine route or a go route, okay? Don't pin yourself to the sidelines on your go routes. All right, we got, a, we got a line out there that's five yards from the boundary. We don't want to cross that line. That's into no man's land, okay? Let's go to the next one. All right.
That's Kansas. Let's go to the next one. The next clip, Coach. Go back right there. Now we're in Trey. Now, Florida, again, out of a, out of a Trey formation, three by one is still the same thing. I'm still calling black Florida. It's still telling us the beater is going to come from the boundary. In other words, we're looking. You're doing. You're getting on your same landmark. You're just coming from a three by one alignment and working across. Again, nine man now. Nine man's rules are the same as a two man just a minute ago. Versus off corner, 14 yard comeback. Versus press corner, convert it. Quarterback, reading a weak side safety. Okay, it will be a 70p protection. Black, black, go. All wide receiver, Florida rules applies. Two to four on the hash, from the hash, on his, on his landmarks. Don't pin yourself in no man's land. Stay five yards from the boundary. Okay, go coach. Okay, this is trips. Be trips right. Be black Florida. Okay, we're checking it on sidelines, what we call our Rosie. Black Florida means the beater's coming from here. He's got to work across. We really like for him to work across a little quicker and get under. Okay. But we know right now, because of it's a press look, we're converting it. Let the quarterback throw you the whole ball shot or the, 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 the paint ball shot, the back shoulder throw. You know you're, you're no longer a comeback. You're running a conversion route, and he'll throw you. Okay, 70p protection. Okay, Coach, go to the next one. Trips left. Brown, Florida. 60p protection. I know he's got to get across. He's got to hold that safety with his seam ball or with his, his backside seam. Again, he's getting to the same area he would in a deuce formation if he was back over here. He's still getting into the same area. It's your job, three back, to hold that safety. If he expands, we're coming to you on the hash. Okay, go to the next one. Again, three by one. We've changed our protection according to, to this, this front or this defensive uh, scheme. So that's why we're in a 60p protection there. Go back. Again, quarterback is looking. It's a one high look. Okay, so now I've got to throw away from him. So now going into a one high look, I should be thinking three man to five man. I've got to put him in a bind. That's why it's important for the three back to get over to the back to, the, to this hash as quickly as he can. Get under it and get across. Okay. Again, three by one. I want to get him across. That's a, that's a great job right here of a comeback. A off corner turns into a 14-yard comeback. Okay, now this gets us more back into, hold it right there, Coach. That is more back into a two-by-two two look now. And we got Black Florida called. This is trips right, zip. Black Florida would be the same thing if I was in stack and zip him. Stack right, zip, Black Florida. We know the beater and everything, our concept side is into the boundary here. It's on the black side. 70p protection. I'm thinking right now as a quarterback, there's my read right there. It's press corner. I know I got to hold him on the hash. If I can hold him on the hash, I got a chance to get a one-on-one -on -one shot here. If not, he widens off the hash. I should have beater to check down. Beater to check down. We'd like for him to continue that thing on up because it was a press, a press look. Go ahead. Okay. All right. Now, let's talk about Florida outside. Florida outside and Florida are in the same family. They, they mirror each other. It's the same thing. It's, uh, the only thing is outside tells us it overrules any comeback. It's Florida outside. And that's the signal. Florida outside. It tells us that we're going to take a shot, an outside shot, probably to the field. Um, it also tells the outside, tells our quarterback that we want to max protect you. We want to kick protect it, and we want to take an outside shot. Okay, and we still come back in here. We can still take a shot to our five-man, but it's, 
It's more of a catch, th big three-step gather, take a shot, and make something happen. It's a kick right protection. Now, our kick protections now for the three back and four back to understand is this. We'll call kick to the side that you're on. If you're a three back, your job, your job is to fit anything off the edge. You got first threat off the edge. The four back's job is to make it right. So if there's any inside pressure coming, or if there's any outside late pressure coming, and it comes late, it's your job to fit either in or out. But we're going to occupy the three back as quick as we can with the first thread on, on, on an end, on a, the end man on the line. We'll slide the front, so we'll pull the whole front over, put him on the end, and then we'll, we'll, we'll make it right. You'll hear, you'll hear our Coach Elliott talk about make it right, make it right. It's your job to make it right. He's going to fit first threat inside or out is your job. Okay. All other Florida rules apply. Um, again, the only thing that, that voids out right here is the nine man is no longer on a comeback. Okay. Go ahead. This formation here for us would be deuce right. Deuce right, and we're going brown. Florida outside, and it's a kick right max. Now, the difference, if you'll hold it right there, Coach, the difference in a kick right and a kick right max just talks to the three back. It just tells the three back is now attached as a tight end. Okay, he knows Deuce got him attached. Max tells him that, hey, you're on and you're staying in. And it's more so, the max call is more so when we have a two tight end set. But in this case here, we're still not going to go wrong if he called kick right. The three back's going to know he stays in. But we want to make the call a max call because he's a tight end. This is a kick right max. He's taking a shot. This is a no deep concept. The safeties are coming down man coverage. Kick right max. You can see he does a good job right here. He fits first thread off the edge. Make it right. It's your job to make it right. Quarterback. Obviously, we're reading the man turn and zone turn concepts, and if we'll talk about that right now as we get this going. As we take a vertical shot, and this is in our fade game, our Florida game, any type of shots that we take, the quarterback is going to be reading the corner. If the corner man turns you, in other words, as he turns, does he spin his helmet, or he spins his helmet to the receiver or puts his butt to you, that's considered a man turn. They're in man coverage. If we get a man coverage right here, we want a back shoulder throw under throw the receiver is what we tell him. From throwing from here, just throw it to here. Just under throwing. If it was a zone turn, let's suppose that he spun his head inside and he's got his eyes in the backfield. And then we tell him it now converts to a win fade. We're throwing it over the top. Okay, especially if you got him beat. Now obviously, if we get him beat, we've stacked him in a man turn, we're going to go ahead and continue to throw it. Our quarterback right here, at this stage in the game, you can see it's third and 11. We're just trying to get the ball out. He might right there might have felt like, well, hey, look, yes, we had a chance to beat him over the top, but the safest throw was to underthrow him and let him adjust back to the ball. Okay, go to the next one. Hey, go back, coach. I want to show the, I want to show the, uh, the, the, the kick right max protection from the end zone. All right, here you go. This is a kick right max. Again, he's on the line. He's got to fit first threat off the edge. Make it right. Slide the whole front. The quarterback does a really good job right here getting the ball out. Three-step rhythm throw, just under throwing. Okay, here we go. Go to the next one, coach. There you go. All right, here we go. Deuce right, deuce right, Florida outside, black Florida outside, kick right max. Tells everybody, we're all on outside routes, we're gone. We're looking to take a shot to the field. Kick right max, he would fit, if he would have came, he would have fit him, and then he makes it right. So right there you see he does a really good job. He's got a zone blitz of getting his eyes and just sliding off of it. Our left tackle was wrong, left guard was wrong. But we, we, we had everybody accounted for, we slid the whole front. 
You know, quarterback does a good job there getting the ball out. It's a kick right max. Again, look at the side he's on. He can be on this side and still do the same things. We've got to pass this off. We'll be putting him here and there, him there. So left guard was wrong. Quarterback does a great job avoiding a rush with his shoulders. Okay, go to the next one. <clears throat> same thing, deuce right. Hit it again, coach. Keep rolling. Good. Kick right, Max. Here you go. Great job right here by this three back, our tight end. He fits first thing off the edge. 23, the running back, is he's got to make it right. Does a really good job right there. Give us a chance. Take a shot. Go to the end zone of it, coach. First thing off the edge. Make it right. Good. All right, coach, roll the next one. All right. That's our Florida concept. We've got Arkansas clear. Arkansas clear. Arkansas is like this, making an A. Clear is like clearing a basis. Okay? Clearing a basis. Sweep. He's clear. He's safe. Arkansas, clear. Arkansas, like a pig's nose, clear. All right? Slant right, brown, Arkansas clear. Again, what are we trying to do? We're trying to tell the quarterback where the concept side is first, where to look. All right. It is a 60P protection. This will be the one play in day one that we have going in that will call the protection to the field. Florida, Kansas, all that has been called to the boundary. This is called to the field. So 60P protection. It's a play fake again. We can put the four back here and stack and run the same play, and he knows he's straight ahead. We can put him here and bring him across. He's still working his 60P rules, which tells him to check down. If it doesn't come, he's got his dual backers to check down. Okay? Quarterback's footwork. Three-step gather throw with the eyes down the middle of the field. If you get a one-high look, the very first read you have is bare butt. It's what we call a bare butt route. A bare butt route is a 10 yard, basically it's a 10 yard stop. You can see right here. His alignment's at the top of the numbers and he's running a 10 yard bare butt route. So he's pushing hard to 10, sticking his foot, pigtailing out and working back to the boundary. Quarterback's job, if you're gonna throw the bare butt is pat his outside hand with a football. Don't wanna see a quarterback throwing him up the field. We wanna see the quarterback pat his outside hand so as he sticks it right here, as he comes up, he sticks his foot, he works back out. We want to pat the outside hand with the ball. Okay? Now, let's say that's number one read. One high look, we want to throw the bare butt, if possible. Let's say this is a two high look and they're pressed up on this side. That means automatically we're going to work the field. We're going to work the field. Two man. 100% of the time, it's an outside release. Outside release, get gone, get outside of the corner. We, again, quarterback is going to read the corner. Is it a man turn? Is it a zone turn? If he starts flirting with us and putting his eyes in the backfield, then we're immediately taking a shot with you. We're not going to let the corner line up and keep his eyes in the backfield without us taking a shot. Okay? Your job is to get the corner to man turn you and clear this thing out. Five man. Five man and splits rules minus one off the hash. Okay. We're trying to inside release. That's what we're trying to do. We're trying to inside release if possible uh, because of the play action scheme. All right. Push up to 12 yards and then break on the corner route. Your angle on your corner route is based on the safety. If the safety's high, then you can start high and then let him throw you down, kind of what this is drawn here. If, if the safety's high, start high and then let the quarterback throw you to the grass. If the safety was down, then we can bend more of an angle, a corner route. Um, and and that, those will be things that will work. Both the five-man and the two-man have got to be able to run Arkansas clear from the inside receiver position. So you'll see us work this together, the fives and twos working together on ID and a uh, too high look and, and being able to allow the quarterback to throw you to the grass or throw you on an angle corner route. Okay? All right, three back. The three backs rules is flat and fast. Flat and fast. Okay? Your job is to get out. Go ahead, coach. We'll go to the next one. 
go back. Let's go back to that slide right here. Okay. Your job is to get out. If there's any type of field pressure coming, you need to get your eyes around quick because we're going to look to get you the football. All right. Progression. Providing we're not throwing the bare butt. The five to the two to the three back to the check down. So we'll stay all in this together right here. Okay. Five to two, three to check down. Okay. Versus man. If it's man, we're going seven cut to check down right now. That's what you want. Corners down, we're going to put you on a seven cut because of one high look, you'll be on a true corner route. We're coming to you right now to check down. Okay? All right, coach, it's a three-step gather for the quarterback. This formation is 20, 20 right. It can also be called. We can cheat him up, and it would be a slant right. But it's brown, Arkansas clear. I'm thinking right now as a quarterback, he's off coverage, but it's a too high look. I really don't know if I like the bare butt throw here or not. It kind of scares me a little bit, but if he keeps retreating and he stays back, the bare butt would still would be good. So right now as a quarterback standpoint, I'm thinking I'm going to peek it and then probably work to the field. All right, 60p protection. Let's go. Don't like it. Eyes now work to the field. He inside release does a really good job. Go back. Does a really good job inside releasing. He's going to carry the flat. Does a real good job, 100% outside release right here. Got him turning and running. You got your clear out. Sixty p protection puts him on that backer to check down. Look at your check down. Okay. All right, coach, go to the next one. Slant left, black Arkansas clear. Thinking right now, is a bare butt there. One, reading the weak side safety, he comes down. I got a chance for a bare butt right here. Okay. If not, if he didn't like the bare butt, now look up top. Like for it to be an inside release. Look what your look look at your your three back. Okay, go ahead, coach. Outside release up top. Okay, go to the next one. Be a 70p protection on that. Slant left. Black Arkansas clear. 70p. You can see go back, coach. The play fake comes from the quarterback. He'll flash fake it. You just throw elbows at me. That's it. You worry about getting to where you're supposed to be at. Thinking right now, weak side safety spun on me. I'm thinking bare butt. That scares me. Okay, so if I catch a team that's doing that to us, then we'll just throw our eyes back over. Quarterback had the right idea. They had actually had a pretty good drop on right here for us. Pretty good defensive play for us. Quarterback does a good job just throwing it away. Go back. Go back and look up the top. Got your flat. Okay, go to the next one. Again, black Arkansas clear. Again, what he's reading, reading the weak side safety. Weak side safety spinning his shoulders, moving back to the middle of the field. He likes the one-on-one -on -one matchup here. Take the bare butt throw. Go to the next one. This is spread right zip. Again, get you back into a slant look. Brown Arkansas clear. 60p protection. Off coverage. Take the bare butt. Go to the next one. And it's strictly up to the quarterback. He knows he's got the bare butt built in on the back side. Does a good job here. You know, go back, coach. It's cover two. You got press coverage look right here. Okay, we do not want to convert that. Go ahead and stay with it. If you do convert it, we're not killed. We're not, it's not the end of the world. We know automatically the quarterback's not coming your side anyways. We're going to work back strong. We're going to take a shot with it. We feel like that the corner is playing games with us, getting his eyes in the backfield. We're going to take a shot over the top. Okay, go to the next one. Trips right. Same thing, same routes, 
Brown, Arkansas clear. Again, read up here. He probably could have taken a bear butt. That bear butt is there. He got graded down and filmed on Sunday because of he didn't take the bear butt. That's 10 yards right there, free take. Eyes roll back around, outside release. He didn't like it. He's flirting with us, getting his eyes in the backfield, which is going to allow him to come off on the intermediate route, which we don't like. So he just takes his flat throw. Go to the next one. Trips right. Brown, Arkansas clear. <clears throat> Got a bear butt if you want it. Safety's cheating off the hash. Probably take it. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, reading a weak side safety quarterback. I'm reading it as a I'm reading it as a one high look right now. Go back. He's playing, he, he's 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 playing deep. This one's playing outside the hash and on the hash, so they're in some type of trace coverage. So I'm thinking one high look. I'm thinking I got man to man. Let's take our bare butt right there. Outside release does a really good job right here. Take a shot with it. Okay, go to the next play. Trips left, zip, black Arkansas clear. Still, same thing, 70p protection. And now you got your intermediate. Okay, go to the next. All right, that is our play action games for day one. Let's talk naked. Our naked, which is hawk back. Think of Atlanta. Atlanta is our zone. The Hawk, Atlanta Hawks. Everything is word associated. So you've got Atlanta Hawks will be the naked back to the boundary. Okay? The back just tells the direction, much like Atlanta going back, we're going Hawks back. Okay? I can put you here and run the same thing where you're occupying and getting out, and it would not be called back. It would be called Hawk. Okay? And obviously it wouldn't be in slant right. But that's the difference with it. So there is a hawk's back, and there will be just a regular hawk. We're telling you what you, we want you to do, the action that we want out of you. So three back, critical. Make it happen just like Atlanta back. Avoid the end, work climb, a slight climb, and work for leverage in the flats. Quarterback and the four back are the two guys that make the whole play happen. It is Atlanta to you guys. Good, solid fake, same Atlanta depth, and we're working great fake. Quarterback is making yourself an edge runner first. First. Second is I'm looking to pass. If I can fake and run, I'm running. Two things never happen on the naked. You never take a sack, and you never come out here, and you never force a ball. So what we want to try to do is get a good play fake, Get to the edge. Can I run it? Run it. If you can't, now we look for one to two to three. All right. You can go through this or your footwork is the same. Progression is the three, the five, back to the nine. The nine is running a comeback. We're going to push him 20 back to 18. You're my third and final read on it. Okay. Versus cover two, you have to outside release and convert it. Again, convert. You got to press coverage, convert it. Because what's going to happen is, is we're going to hit you in a whole ball shot right here. Okay? And that's on hawk or hawk back for the nine man. Five man. Five man, you got your splits are plus five from the tackle. Running an over route 12 to 15 outside the tackle box. Okay? Get into the quarterback's vision and settle in the open window right here. You have got to get, you can't get caught up in here. All right, 12 to 15 yards and getting my vision, getting the quarterback's vision. Two-man split rules are plus five off the hash, and you're running a home run, a bang eight, getting across the field, and, and, and we catch a scramble out of it, and we work him back, you got a chance to get a home run post out of it. But more so than not, you're trying to get across to throw a home run, a touchdown block down the field, about 40 yards down the field. Quarterback, your progression, flat throw on your third step, on your seventh step, we're looking for the climb, and by the ninth step, we got to look at a comeback or run. Go to the next one. Communication of the offensive line would be Brown, 
Hawk back. Brown Hawk back. It's Brown Atlanta to those guys. Hawk tells them that they're going to throttle it down as they get three yards into that gray area. Okay, go ahead. Slant right, Brown Hawk back. Push, push, make yourself an edge threat. Go ahead. Flat route, climb, come back. Good. Go to the next one. Here we go. This is Trey Wright, Chad Deal at three, or we could go DA at there, or Chad Deal at five, or we could go DA at five and have another tight end. This is more of a 12 personnel package. Zip and go Brown Hawk back. Okay? When that happens, you know now that you're the, the, you're the single receiver, or you're the inside receiver to the field, and you've got the climb route. If you're on the line as a tight end, you would have the climb route. Okay, same thing. This is black hawk back. Get outside release, convert, go. Good fake, good indie, or Atlanta fake, and getting the ball, make yourself an edge threat. Go to the next one. <clears throat> this is triple, go back. Formation is triple. This is triple right wheel, brown hawk back. Go ahead. Good. Watch your left tackle. Left tackle does a good job right here. They're working their climb, keeping low hats, and he's going to throttle it down inside that, that three-yard neutral zone. There's a good job right here coming off and getting to the comeback. He's, he's calling it right now. He wants, he wants the home run shot, and then he works the back shoulder throw off of it. Does his comeback. Okay, go to the next one. Triple right wheel, black, at, black hawk back. Should have gave it to him. Fat girl in the flats, right there. Give him the football, and we're going to pick up a first down right here. He's thinking come back now. Look at your climb. You had it basically. You had your three to five, and and we chose to take that one. But three is open. Five is going to be wide open. And there's your comeback. Okay, go to the next one, coach. Here we go. Trips. This is trips left zip. Trips left zip. Black hawk back. Okay. On the next one. There we go. Trips right zip. Brown hawk back. Great job right here. Nose down in distance. Got to pick up a first down. Never take a sack. There is such thing as a defense has a good play. We can always make things up by uh, not, not uh, living and going to the next down. Slant right, brown, Atlanta back, orbit. Okay. Well, orbit is the reverse. Orbit is the reverse off of Atlanta back. Okay. The only thing different out of this, as we talk, let's talk offensive line. We're going to work brown Atlanta with our, with our right guard, right tackle, center, and left guard. They're all working their Atlanta path. The left tackle is doing the same thing. He's working his track inside, and then as soon as he clears, he's getting flat, and his responsibility is the corner. Okay? The fullback, his rules got to change a little bit from normal Atlanta rules. He's got to cheat his alignment up and work a little bit flatter because we're handing you the ball and you're actually tossing it back to the two back that's coming. Nice, easy toss, soft toss. If there's any traffic over here four back, any at all, you take the ball and we take the loss and we go to the next down. We never pitch a ball in traffic. If we have any type of edge pressure coming, then the O-line is gonna have to out it and make a, make a call that's going to out it and, and push it all out to, to pick up any edge pressure on the outside. Okay, Again, that's going to be the call made by that tackle. The three back, again, this guy right here is so critical in our offense 
His job is checking first threat. His first threat is the defensive end. If the defensive end is squeezing, and he's squeezing to a point to where there's no way that he'll be able to make the tackle on the reverse, then I am going to bypass him and work to the next level. So I'll work first level to second level. Okay? If in doubt, if in doubt, you got a ceiling. If the defensive end is boxing up the field, then I'm kicking him out. I'm getting a body on him. Never pass one to go get one. Okay? Quarterback. Quarterback's job is Atlanta footwork. Obviously, you know that the fullback is cheated up. I'm giving the ball. And as I give it, I am now also checking the defensive end. Has he redirected? Does the three back pick him up? If, the, if, he, if he is already squeezed, and I think he, as a quarterback, I think he's now being able to bend back out, then I'm going to pick that defensive end up. We're going to make sure that the defensive end is secure, whether the three back does it or the quarterback. If he squeezes, the three back's past him. There's no way the quarterback feels the defensive end is going to get on us then I'm also going to climb to the second level all the way to the safety, okay? Communication or offensive line is brown Atlanta back orbit. Brown Atlanta back orbit. Cadence would be brown, brown, go. You can look at your splits. Two man, you guys will invert here. Two and a five will invert. We may make a personnel change to put one of our faster players right here. That's okay. Um, just know that your splits have got to stay the same. You're on minus one off the hash. You're going to get a soft toss from the four back. All right. Once he tosses it to you, you're now obviously looking to get to the edge and try to get vertical out of it. All right. Nine man. Next, outside of the three back and the, and the tackle, you've got the most important responsibility, and that's the alley play. Most dangerous man to the safety. First safety off the line inside. What, we're not going to pass one to go get one. You got the most dangerous man in the alley. Okay? Your alignment's at the top of the numbers. Okay, go to the next play. This is 20 right. Go back, coach. Stop it right there. This is 20 right. We could very well have him right here and be in slant right. So he could be here to here, and that's slant right. Slant right, brown Atlanta back orbit. Okay, coach? Does a really good job right here. Watch the three back right here. He's checking. Once he gets him committed inside, he's going to bypass him and go. Would he have been wrong by staying on that end? No. No. But he felt like once he got inside of him, there was no sense to waste a hat on him. I could climb. Quarterback does a good job right here getting down the field. We had an extra hat out there. We expect to run a reverse once a half, three times a game. Hopefully, we get to that point. All right? Same thing, slant right. All I got to do is move him up here. Slant right, brown Atlanta back orbit. Again, does a good job. Watch your three back. He's kind of flirting with it right here now. I'd have probably felt a little bit more comfortable if the three back would have stayed on that defensive end right there, but it was his discretion because he was coming flat inside, that we could take him. The, way, the one thing I would tell our three backs is this. If he comes straight up the field, we've got to look to hook him. If he comes hard underneath me, because we've had so much success with Atlanta back, if he comes so hard underneath me, then I might be able to bump him and let him go and climb. Good job right here by our tackle. Our guard, in this case, he was uncovered with getting him out. Nice toss, just a good, easy, flat toss. Any traffic, any mess that's coming off the edge, absorb it, get back north and south, and let's go the next down. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, go back, coach. This is trips right wheel. Okay, trips right wheel, and we're going brown Atlanta back orbit. Again, same thing. Does a good job right there. Really good job attacking. He gets underneath. There's no way that guy's going to make the play. Go ahead, coach. Go to the next one. 
Here it is again. Now we got corner cat coming. Quarterback does a good job. Three back does a good job. And again, they actually had a good call on, but we got a positive play out of it. <clears throat> All right, go to the next one. Hey, this is Trips Left Zip. Trips Left Zip, black Atlanta back orbit. Yeah, I like for a quarterback to continue up the field. Quarterback should always be on the hat inside here. He should have extra hat in there. Go to the end zone. All we're doing is zipping because we ran Atlanta back out of that. Working flat. He squeezes. Don't bypass him. Go to the next level. It's a really good job right there. Go to the next one. All right. We're going to our screen game. Our, our one screen that we're putting on uh, in day one is called Ohio. The signal for Ohio is a small O on your chest or Ohio, like Ohio River, okay, or a book signal, okay. So, with that being said, Ohio is a, it's a, it's a double screen. It's a fast side screen and a slow side screen. We will always call the color side to the side that we want the back to flare to, okay. The color side will be the fast side. Okay? The four back's responsibility is to flare to the color side. So I'm going to put you in position in some type of formation to have you to where you're going to flare to that side. You're not going to have to worry about flaring from, to the right from over here. I would not do that to you. Your job is to flare fast and flat, knowing that once you get to the hash mark, this is a left hash play, once we get to the right hash, we're going to throttle it down and turn and sit. I do not want to work outside the hash with our, with our flare back. Okay? If this was the boundary and we're going to flare you to the boundary, you would flare and work to the top of the numbers and throttle it down. Three backs responsibility is we are going to pin the corner to the slow side screen or opposite of call. Okay, or the side you're on will be the side you're pinning the corner to. I can run this out of many different formations, but in this case, we're stack right zip, Brown, Ohio. He knows I'm zipping. We would like for you to zip just outside the tackle box, working flat, aiming for his upfield shoulder because he's going to be coming down. We don't want to let a guy undercut us, work to peel him off the nine man. The nine man, if pressed, is going to have to do a really good job of pushing hard outside to create some type of separation and give your three back an opportunity to be successful. Okay, Let's talk now offensive line play to the fast side. The fast side, we're going to quick pass set and release to alley players. This is the defensive end that we are reading. We really don't want to make too much contact with him. We want to set him, bait him, and then let him make his decision on what he's going to do. If he comes hard up the field, then we're dumping right now to the four-back. If he flares and tries to peel with the four-back or with the, the, the tackle that's running the alley, then our eyes now will take a, 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 a gather throw. It's a three-step. It's three-step looking for our play side end. The end comes up the field. I put my heel in the ground and throw the football. If the end flares, then now I drift, as, and, and what we'll do is we call it retreat. We'll get into a retreat mode and get our eyes over on the, on the slow side, okay, looking to throw the tunnel. All right, we talked about the nine man. We talked about three back, the four back. Again, coaching point on the four back, don't cross your landmark. Get there and get settled, okay? Two man, split rules, you're, you're plus five off the hash, and you're blocking the corner. Expect the ball to be thrown to your side. Okay. We talked about a quarterback reading the color side defensive end. If he attacks up the field, we're dumping it. If he peels with the four back, then it's a quick three drop, retreat, and get your eyes on the tunnel side, much like a Zorro screen that these, that these guys have ran here in the past. Okay. To the slow side screen, we're taking the left tackle or the opposite color tackle and he is pass setting and getting that end up the field. The center and guard are the ones working for alley to linebacker. 
Okay, that could be a safety in the alley coming down. All right, communication, the offensive line is Brown, Ohio, Brown, Ohio. Okay, the cadence is Brown, Brown, go. Okay, coach. Okay, this would be Brown, Ohio right here because we're flaring to this side. So it tells us this is the fast side. There's a slow side. It would tell, in this case, the two man would be, would be running the tunnel. Okay, quarterback's reading right here. In comes up the field, dump it. You can see three back right here does a great job throttling it down at the top of the numbers. Get there, throttle it down and let your backs get out here, or your, your linemen get out here and make the, make the play. Okay. Nine man on that is working most dangerous man. Again, much like his, his reverse rules, his orbit rules. Okay. Go to the next one, Coach. All right. Same thing. Again. Now, in pills, the in pills, now we're working, he obviously, because we're running it back to the, to the boundary here, and our slow side is coming from the field, okay, we're going to run it to the two man, or to the two back, okay, which tells our three back he's now got to pin the outside linebacker. Get back in the tunnel. Okay, this is Ohio, that is Brown, Ohio. Go to the next one, Coach. Brown, Ohio, now to the field. Watch your five man. Five man should be working to crack right here. Linebacker, linebacker vacates, now I climb. Four back, go back coach. Four back does a really good job getting to his landmark and throttling it down. Look to get vertical. Look to get vertical. Two man, two man's blocking for it. He's blocking corner, expecting the ball to be thrown his side. Go back. Coach, let's look at the slow side now. Here's your slow side. He now knows he's on the slow side. I've already gotten him there. It's no different. Go back, Coach. It's no different than stack right, zip, Brown, Ohio. I got him in that same position. He's pinning the corner. Go, Coach. Okay, go to the next play. Let's see the... Uh, the uh, Let's see the end zone of that, Coach, if we could. There we go. Brown, Ohio. There's your fast side. All right, Coach, that's good. Thank you. The next one. Same thing. Stack right or stack left. Zip. Black, Ohio. There's who I'm reading. Reading the fast side. Probably could have thrown it. He's getting outside his landmark. Really don't want him getting outside that hash. Stay inside the hash. Quarterback makes his mind up. He's going to go back to the fast side, get the ball back in the tunnel, and let's go. Really want him to turn it more quicker and up the field a, you know, a lot sharper than that. We're bringing it too much back to the middle. I want to get right back in it right now and get vertical. Three back missed the defense, missed the corner. That's your responsibility is the guy that just made the tackle. Okay. Fast side, slow side. All right, go to the next. Brown, Ohio does a really good job right here getting to his landmark and throttling it down. You can see right here, go back, coach. All the way, all the way, all the way. Stack right, zip, Brown, Ohio. Okay, go ahead. Got press coverage, you gotta push him off. You gotta give, you, give, give your three back an opportunity for success. You gotta create the spacing. It is your job, nine man, to create spacing. He peels, my eyes now come back here. Let's get the ball back inside. Okay, go to the next one. All right. All right, we'll talk hitches, talk into our, our, our concepts, our quick game, okay, our hitches. Hitches can be ran out of, out of any formation we want. Basically, in this one here, stack right zip, brown hitches. 
The hitches tell us it's quick game protection, so it's a 360 and a 370, which basically tells us it's the same rules as 60 and 70, with the exception that three tells us we gotta fit quicker. It's a, it's a tighter, quicker, more aggressive fit, okay? In this case here, we're running all hitches. The three back, we want the three back clear in the tackle, and you're running a protection hitch an outside the shoulder of the wheel linebacker. We cannot let the wheel linebacker expand underneath, underneath the nine man on its hitch. We usually call the hitch to the, to the boundary side. Uh, so in this case, if we were gonna throw it here, we'd call it black. We got brown called, so we're gonna be working here. Same thing, we gotta run a protection hitch by the inside, and, and basically the, 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 the primary hitch is the outside guys. Still need to expect the football if they start buzzing out on us. Uh, our hitches are at six yards, pushing hard off the ball, setting it down. If it was press across the board, then the receivers are fry, flying off um, or firing off the ball. Hitch it up at six um, and continue to expand, running away from the defender on a cue route. And we'll get into that as we get into more of our, our man concept. Outside, if we were pressed up, we would convert that. But inside guys, we would work more an out, a cue route from the inside guys. Okay, go to the next one. Okay, this is trips right zip, black hitches, <clears throat> 360 protection. Okay, there it is. He's trying to run a protection hitch. We're gonna get the ball on the outside. Okay, go to the next one, coach. Same thing, protection hitch. Outside shoulder, we had him. Okay, go to the next one, Coach. Again, tempo that we're going at. This is out of an ace formation, running hitches, hitches to the field. All right, Coach, go to the next one. All right, fades. Fades are more of a Florida game concept for us. Um, we will tag a fade with a play, but just understand that when we get into our fade game, that uh, it uh, has a lot to do with a man, man turn and zone turn. And uh, this is just something that we'll call, that, hey look, we're gonna, hit, we're gonna try to hit the fade or the tap route and try to get on the outside with it. Uh, protections on this is 60 and 70. Um, so we're gonna get more into that as we start talking more vertical game. Go to the next play. This is Trey Wright, or Ace Wright. Or, I'm sorry, deuce left, and we're running fade. It's called bare butt. It's fade to the field, bare butt to the boundary. Okay, go ahead, coach. We'll just keep going. Go to the next. Keep going. Keep going. We've talked about all this in our in our Florida game. <clears throat> slants. Slants are going to be called in this case here. Slant right zip brown slants. We were going to call the side that the slants actually going to be ran to. Okay. If you're opposite of the slant, you're running an arrow route, okay? So in this case here, stack right zip, brown slants, tells the slants are coming from the, back, from the field, okay? Five man's rules, your splits rules are plus five from the tackle, you're attacking the inside shoulder of the Sam linebacker, you're looking to eat him, looking to grab him, attack, to make him attached to you to where the two man will come open on it. If the linebacker expands, then you need to look to get back vertical Skinny, staying away from the mic and expecting the football, okay? That's the guy we're reading. Two-man, splits rules, you're plus five from the hash, you're running a two route, which is a slant route to us, okay? It's a three-step slant. We are not conversion, converting this versus press. If we call slants to the brown side, we're running slants. It's a flat angle versus a two deep. We want to show the numbers to the quarterback and expect the ball quick. You should not catch this ball any deeper than seven yards. Okay, again, we're working the, 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 the concept side, which is the brown side, reading the Sam. If, if they had rolled to a one-high look on me, my answer in a one-high look is to work to the boundary. Okay, our boundary is an arrow route. Much like Kansas, you're running your flat route, gaining leverage, pushing for depth, getting flat and fast, the nine man is working at six yards. He's working his, his slant route, okay? It's a flat angle. Expect the ball to happen quick. Again, same concept as Kansas, 
I'm reading the wheel linebacker. Okay, you're not going to catch the ball any deeper than seven yards. Two high look, work strong. One high look, work weak. Got the arrow concept. Okay, quarterback, we're going to cheat our alignment up just a little bit. Normally our heels are at five. We're going to cheat up just a little bit. If I'm throwing to the right and I'm a right-handed quarterback, the ball comes out quick. We tell our quarterbacks this. If you're throwing to the right and you're right-handed, you're turning toe. You're snapping your hips, you're pointing your toes, and the ball will come out. If you're throwing to the left, okay, and you're a right-handed quarterback, then you're turning two. Much like a shortstop in a baseball, uh, in a baseball game, he drags his cleats across the, the, the second base, turning a double play, and he's turning two with it, getting the ball out. It gets your momentum working both ways. You also throw with your feet before you do anything else. Okay, go ahead. Okay, black slants. Who we're reading? Go ahead, coach. Got an arrow concept here. Does a good job right there. We really, we're going to work him more this year through the inside shoulder, inside shoulder of him, and climbing back vertical. We want to eat him up with his inside shoulder. Good job right there, coach. Go to the next one. Deuce right, black slants. Working an arrow concept here, slants here. Okay, right there, go back. What we want right here, you see him expanding. We want to climb back vertical and expect the football right in here. Stay away from the Mike linebacker. Go ahead. Okay, go to the next play. Protections is what we would like. Stop it right there, Coach. What we like out of our, our protection game quarterbacks and four backs is this. If we know we're going to throw the slant here, this is black slants. We would like to have a 370 protection. It would keep us from sliding high hats into a slant route. 370 now would put man on with a tackle, put him down aggressive, and we'll slide away from the slant call, our slants, our concept side, and it'll get the ball out. We don't have obstructing his view very much. Go ahead. Again, reading here. He stays inside. Great. There he is. Ball to him. Go ahead, coach. The ball comes out. We throw without laces with the quarterbacks. Throw without laces. Get the ball out. Again, brown slants, 360 protection. Arrow route over here. He could have worked this side. <coughs> we want him over the top of that wheel linebacker. Go ahead, coach. Go to the next one. Okay. Black slants. Reading here. Good, attaching. If a corner undercuts us and picks off a slant route, it's the, it's the receiver's fault. You got to do a really good job of protecting yourself, using your body to defend that corner. Go ahead, go to the next one, coach. Keep going. Keep going. We're good, coach. Keep going. Keep going. Okay. Our pass protections, go ahead. This is our 60 and 70 protections. We talked about 60 tells the back that he is responsible for the right side triangle. It'll slide the O-line opposite of the tackle call. So if I call 60 here, he's on the right side. He's locked. We're sliding here, and it'll work his triangle game there. Okay, go ahead. Go to the next one. 360 is the same thing. It just tells us we're more aggressive because it's a quick game. Go to the next one. Kick right. We talked about it earlier. Three back fits tight off the edge, first thread off the edge. The four back, is, is, his responsibility is to make it right. Okay, go to the next one. Rosie. Rosie, the signal for Rosie is grabbing our hair or putting our hand over our face. That is a no play. That is a dead play. Okay, there is no call. We're going to freeze. Uh, quarterback's going to come up. He's going to communicate Brown Mexico, Brown Mexico, or Silver Bullet. Silver Atlanta. Silver is another call that tells them to freeze. Um, Rosie, Rosie. Any of those calls, uh, brown, brown, go would be the call. All right. At that point, if anybody jumps in the neutral zone, we are snapping the football. The first back, whether it's the three back or the four back, to the quarterback's right side is responsible for protecting the edge. Okay. In this case here, this is slant right, and we called Rosie, and they jump in the neutral zone, then it puts the three back 
on the right side defensive end. Okay? The O-line is sitting. They're not moving. They're staying in their stance. If they're hit, they can fall over. But nobody's moving. The ball has been snapped in the neutral zone. We're taking a shot. The number one receiver on the outside is on a go route. The number two receiver on the outside to the right side is on a bender route or a 12 to 14 yard out route. Okay? Go ahead. This is slant right Rosie. He jumps. You see the old line freezes, doesn't move. Three backs got to help protect. <coughs> Quarterback, the ball's got to come out quick. Take a shot, we'll get free, free five yards out of it. Here you go. This is slant left opposite. He jumps. You're always working to the right. We'll always work to the right. Take a shot. Go ahead. Trips right. Rosie. Boom. We got him jumping. We snap it. They freeze. They got hit so he can fall down. We're throwing the ball. Go ahead. Trips right. Rosie. Caught him again. Free five yards. Take a shot. Go ahead. Go again. All right. Last thing we're going to talk about is our, our special. Okay. We have Rosie going in day one, and we have a money or a fire alarm. Okay, our fire alarms are nothing more than how we huddle. It'll be a personnel grouping. So in this case here, this will be a money one huddle. You'll hear us on the sidelines go money one huddle, money one huddle. That is a personnel grouping. Okay, if you're part of money one, you're on the field. It is a right hash only play. So we'll go money one huddle, money one. They'll huddle, the quarterback will stay out of the huddle, let them gather around, get set, He'll come in, he'll count, and he'll step into the line and call money one, money one, ready, break. We'll huddle a yard and a half from the football. Once he breaks us, it's turn and get to the line as quick as we can. Brown, brown, go, and it's a quick toss on the edge. We'll cheat the back over. Again, this is to change the tempo of the game. The two back, the two man, okay, it'll be personnel, maybe more of a bigger tight end. Okay, his job is to help secure the edge with the tackle over. He and the tackle's responsibility are to work, secure the edge up to the Mike linebacker. You'll never run off and leave the tackle by himself unattended. Help him, okay, and the way we'll do this is by the splits. Your splits are two yards from the tackle. Well, it looks like it's a long way here. It's really two yards, so we're going to work together. Up to the mic, you'll work off the mic, okay? You got the first hat off the edge, sealing it. Nine man, your job is to secure, the, you're blocking the guy over the two man. You're blocking the guy over the two, okay? First man over the two man, you got the big block. You gotta be solid, you're the guy. Gotta be solid, drive your feet, cannot let him come up the field and penetrate. He cannot come underneath you. You've gotta assume to get him. If the strong safety was down, obviously the two-man takes him. He's not going to pass one to go get one. They're going to work together to secure the edge, whatever combination. If he was down, then they're going to work up to him, and he'll work the guy over the two, which could be another safety. Uh, his rule is one by one from the two-man, so it's one yard out, one yard behind. Okay. Go ahead. It is a fire alarm. We'll have several fire alarms. This is money one. Go back. Watch right here. Here's your splits. These two have got to secure here to here. They've got to secure. Go ahead. He blocks the man over, does a pretty good job. The three backs responsibility is kick in the corner. You've got force. You've got the force. Go ahead, coach. Go to the next. Go to the end zone of it. Let's look at the end zone. There it is. Okay, good. Go in. There we go. Again, you two are responsible for securing here and up. It is a right hash only play. Only a right hash play. Ball comes out quick. After the quarterback pitches it, he'll reverse out. 
You see the, the alignment, the pace that we're going at? The ball out, reverse out. Okay. So the next one. The end zone of it. Okay. Over here. All right, go ahead. All right. It's day one install.